Hey game designers, uh, in this video I'm going to teach you a few things uh, how to add a HUD uh, HP layer, um, some health bars, and some health collectibles. Okay, so uh, before we begin, let's just explain what HUD stands for. HUD stands for uh, Heads Up Display. It's meant to basically your phrase to refer to all the things that your player would need to play your game like a heads up, right? How much life you have, how much experience you have, how many, uh, how much health you have, how many coins you collected, what the score is, uh, how much timer is left. So let's go ahead and play with one of these. Let's go ahead and use uh, the HUD right here. And let's go ahead and drag it to the top of our screen. Now, before we drag it into our screen, let's make sure we know what layer we wanna put it in. Um, for the user interface overlay makes the most sense. Um, HUD displays are usually part of the user interface as a whole. The user interface will obviously include other things like controls and buttons, um, menus, but uh, the, uh, the UI overlay would be a perfect layer to put it in. So let's go ahead and just put one at the top here and kind of use our extend tool or our scale tool and go ahead and scale it. This is one way of doing HP. So let's go ahead and hit play. And you can see now we have an HP bar. We could probably um, lo relocate it to make it a little bit more centered. But let's just see, since when we jump into lava, we die. Let's see if we jump into the lava, we would be able to see how much health we lose. So now we get a good indication that if we stay in the lava, how much uh, HP we're actually losing, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, center this a little bit more. So we do want to center it with the background here. So let's go ahead and click somewhere else, click back on here, and let's go ahead and move it, something like that. Okay, so something like this. Um, <clears throat> well, let's talk about uh, other ways that you could, uh, where else you can put a health bar. So some games put it uh, on the center like this. Some decide that they rather have it like on one side, like, uh, you know, two player fighting games. Like they'll have the opponent's HP here, your HP here. And now some games are just doing it directly above the player's head because that's where most of the focus is for the player. So we can try putting it here, but I want you to see a couple of things that uh, you will notice. When I hit play, the bar is significantly lower than it should be based on my editor, but here's another issue. You can see that the bar does not follow me, okay? The bar, basically uh, is slightly off, right? So this is a problem. Um, now, let me put my mouse over here and show you guys that I'm not moving my mouse and that no matter where my player is on the map, the bar is completely stationary, right? So my mouse is not moving, although it might seem like it's moving, um, and the bar, therefore, is not moving. So this does not anchor to the player. Now, let's say we were trying to be clever and we move our player to the center of the screen, okay? And we move our bar to the center of the screen. And let's go ahead and hit play now. Okay, and what we noticed that is besides the fact that it's off, we have another issue. It turns out that even if it were properly placed. The player can be off center of the screen when he hits the edges of the map, but the bar is always stationary. So this does not work either, okay? So this HP bar will not do uh, what you guys would want if this is the way we wanted to do it. So let's just go ahead and bring it back to uh, somewhere centered uh, on the overlay, and it will stay there for the duration of the game, okay? so. Uh, let's talk about the next part of this video, which is if we can lose health, 
uh, can we also gain health? And the answer is yes. So I want to scroll up here and look at some health collectibles. We have two of them right here. Let's go ahead and put it on the map where we would get damaged. So if we jump into this lava pit, we could get damaged. So let's go ahead and drag uh, the health collectibles here and here. Okay. If we, uh, oh, let's go ahead and put it in somewhere not on the UI overlay. So let's go ahead and delete that. So before we decide to uh, put it and drag and drop it, let's figure out what layer we want to put it. You can see here that we have a layer for collectibles. So I'm going to put the collectible here and the collectible here. Okay. And uh, you can decide to enlarge it, for example, if you want to kind of indicate to the player that this is worth more HP. Right. And let's look at some of the properties. The only property that we have extra is the amount. As you would guess, this amount refers to how much health you gain. So you can change it. So say this one is 20. Say this one is 100. Okay. And let's go ahead and test and see if our player can, in fact, collect these items and gain the HP. So here you can see that I lost a significant amount of health. And let's see if I gain the health back by getting the mushroom. And let's see what happens when I get the meat. Okay. So it looks like those work and that does it for this tutorial. Okay. Let's go ahead and save our tutorial. And this completes tutorial number six. I will see you for tutorial number seven.